Good morning. And thank you, John, for helping me singing the, our entrance song. Let us begin our prayer with the sign of our salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers, we gather here this morning to celebrate the Friday after Ash Wednesday, coming together as God's holy family and knowing that our God is full of mercy and compassion. And let us now pause for a moment. We acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, Cry out full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and they start to know my ways like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, pleased to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and take no note of it. Lo, on your fast day, you carry out your pursuits. You drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high. In this manner of fasting, I wish of keeping a day of penance that a man bow his head like a reed and lie in a sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the, tongue, the tongues of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, Sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am, the word of the Lord. You, 
A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. O heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my sin, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a heart should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, a contrite spirit, a contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. May the Lord be in my heart. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guest mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. I think uh, this is, it is a very important for, for us to ask ourselves a question, particularly in this Lenten season. Why does the church ask us to be fasting, to turn away from our sins, and to do good for each other? The simple answer is that God himself ask us to do. God wants us to do all of this not for the glory of the, of the world and also f- not for the glory of ourselves. God wants, God wants us to do these things for the glory of God. The main purpose of fasting, forgiveness, and doing good things for each other is because this is the way to everlasting life. Jesus already gave and showed us a clear path to living a long life and a path to heavenly kingdom. But the question is, do we have the courage to truly follow his message of today's gospel story? Do we fast because we want to be seen or we fast for the glory of God? Do we forgive and welcome each other because we want to be recognized and to be seen or we are doing it simply for the glory of God? 
Amen. As we begin our Lenten journey, we turn our hearts and minds to our Heavenly Father and present our petitions to Him. We pray for all the members of the Church. May God draw us ever closer to Him during this Lenten season. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the leaders of nations and those in authority. May God guide them in governing with wisdom and compassion. We pray to the Lord. For those who struggle with mental illness, may God's healing grace come upon them. We pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit enkindle in us a fire for the corporal works of mercy during this Lenten season. We pray to the Lord. And for those who have died, may they rejoice with God in their eternal home in heaven for recently deceased. Manuel Gomez, Jack Suffer, Jose Luis Canarena, Lilia Alvarez Vega, Marta Malarqui, Vanessa Santos, Maria del Carmen, Alvarado Pinedo, Jose Daniel Ramos, Maria del Pilar Valencia Hernandez, Father Ramon Vasquez, and Cruz Ortiz. We pray to the Lord that the sick will find joy and salvation for David Carpio, Patti Peri, Bal, Baldenegro, Jesus Eugenia Cota, James and Ellen Chaffin, Renaldo Gonzalez, Ermina Munoz, Catalina Garcia, Emmanuel Lopez, Maria Hagden, Sandra Cota, Socorro Pejeco, Alberto Castro, Maria Gonzalez, Gonzalez Lopez, Jasmine Galrado Palafox, Lourdes Palafox, Teresa Quinones, the Martinez family, and Carlos Aguer. We pray to the Lord. And today's Mass is being offered to pray and to remember for the intentions of Isaac Ibarra, for him and his, his family and relatives and friends, we pray to the Lord. And in silence, let us now add our own petition. We pray to the Lord. Father of love and mercy, we ask you to graciously hear the prayers we offer today through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, forever and ever. Please be seated.
all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Our sacrifice is ready. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our power of self-restraint through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, And with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took the bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, (laughs) for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held, held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, seven holy founders of the Servite Order, Saint Philip Benizzi, here in our church, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced and to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With confidence, let us now pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespass, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us now offer to each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Peace be with you, Stella. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
let us remember in our prayer our brothers and sisters who are participating in this Mass, who are watching this Mass from their home. Let us pray for them the prayer of the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. <clears throat> we pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds, and so be you be sure it for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Let us salute our Blessed Virgin Mary. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, 